I would like to welcome you here today to acknowledge the 200th milestone of the Provincial Fugitive uh, Return Program. This program is the uh, first of its kind in Canada and is a joint partnership between the province, police agencies throughout BC at all levels, federal, provincial and municipal, and of course with our partners, the BC Sheriff Services, and plays a vital role in the provincial government's commitment to public safety. Today's event is a testament to the success of the program and to all the work for those that are involved. The Provincial Fugitive Return Program enables us to return these wanted individuals to the jurisdictions where they committed their crimes, holding them accountable to the communities and people that were victimized by their actions. Since its inception in 2012, the BC Fugitive Return Program has proven to be a successful and valuable tool for law enforcement in communities across the province. In July of this year, the program returned its 200th fugitive who was returned back to Alberta. To date, 207 individuals with outstanding warrants for their arrest have been returned from British Columbia to the provinces in which those individuals committed offenses. We are appreciative of the partnership between the police, Crown Council, BC Sheriff Service, as well as the provincial government and civil forfeiture office. I am Staff Sergeant Shaw McGowan and I oversee the Fugitive Return Program and I would like to take this opportunity to highlight a few significant returns since the inception of the program. Uh, there was a man living in Kelowna who was identified by police as being involved in the human trafficking of underage girls. He had various warrants for his arrest from Montreal. When it was discovered, he relocated to Vancouver with one of his victims from Montreal. He was arrested in Vancouver and subsequently returned to Quebec by the BC Sheriff's uh, Transport. Another one of note was the return of a father-son duo who were wanted for committing a fraud of nearly $50,000 in the Hamilton area against an 89-year-old man and his wife who suffered from dementia. When it was discovered they were living in the Vancouver main, in the Lower Mainland, a joint arrest was made by the Surrey RCMP and the two were subsequently escorted back to Ontario.